Hello, my name is Dr. Borgi, and I'm going to be your teacher for this summer session of Guidance 2, which is Introduction to College, basically. So welcome in. Um, you need to watch this video from start to finish. It contains all of the information that you're going to need for this particular term. Um, and for this class term, we're doing summer of um, 2024. And weirdly enough, they have the same class ID as last year. So uh, it's kind of strange. We have, um, I'm just gonna take a look over here at our course number. It's 30053. That's the course number for guidance two. This is a completely online class. It is asynchronous, meaning um, we don't have any assigned class meetings that you must attend. We actually have um, just online meetings. You'll go online, you'll get all the information from Canvas, and then you will turn in all your stuff via Canvas. So you have a course syllabus. It is available in the course introduction, which can be accessed from the homepage if you press on course introduction, but you can also access everything from this class from modules view. So you'll click on, when you get into the class, you click on modules on the left-hand side, and that'll take you to everything that is open in the class so far. So you'll see everything listed. You need to go through everything via Canvas each week. So on the syllabus, you'll see it says, that you have to review all the Canvas materials and there are assignments listed. The course syllabus is the way that you check what is due. Please do not rely on Canvas to give you your assignment list because a lot of times it does not list upcoming assignments. And in this class, we do have assignments that are going to take us several weeks to complete. And if you're not aware of them and you wait it to the last minute, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to finish that. So we have one big project in this class and we have a final exam. We have homework, but we do not have quizzes or other tests. So the only tests in the class are the final exam, and then you have a project, which is which are called the campus resource reports. You're going to be assigned a resource, you'll do a report on it, you'll create like a PowerPoint and you'll post that. We'll do a discussion on it and you'll respond to other people's posts um, about their, um, everybody will be assigned one of the on-campus resources. And we'll start that at, towards the beginning of the eight week and then we'll end it kind of towards the end. So if you're not working on it throughout the term, you might fall behind. We have one course book. One of your assignments is to purchase both a day planner and a book for the class. This class is heavily about time management and study skills, as well as other things that you need to know to be successful in college. So you need to purchase a day planner. This is mine. Um, you need it to be daily or weekly. So you'll open it up and inside you'll see either one day on each page, so it'll be like a day here and a day here, or you'll see the whole week on two pages. What I don't want is like a whole month on this page. It looks like this is month, but it's actually like weekly. So it starts with um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I can fill in dates on this, so it's like any dates, but you're welcome to get one that already has dates in it. It doesn't matter the size, like my old day planner was this size, which is fine. I liked that I could just carry it around really easily, but um, I kind of like the bigger one this year because I just have a little more space to write things. So you need to purchase a day planner. It needs to be daily or weekly, and it cannot be digital. So for this class, you're going to be using a physical day planner. The book for the class is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens by Sean Covey. And so there are two versions of this book. One of them has a pair of like iPhone headphones coming down. The other one does not. This is the old version. Either version is fine, but I strongly recommend that because we have work right away in this class that you might need to do the reading for, that you purchase the digital copy. There is a digital copy available via Amazon. And I think I have, um, this book is listed in the bookstore. Um, you can get the hard copy book, but sometimes it takes a while to come. If you order it via Amazon, make sure that it's overnight shipping or that you have prime shipping on it because if you're purchasing it used from somebody else, they may not send it for several weeks and then you'll be really behind in terms of the reading. I do expect you to do the reading, but again, you're not being quizzed throughout the class. It's just one big final at the end on everything. Um, what else? So there are some Canvas things that you need to know about. And the first one is that you need to make sure that you get all of your assignments from the syllabus. So each week, this is what I want you to do. I want you to, number one, consult your course syllabus, get your syllabus out, get your day planner, start putting down in your schedule for this week what you have to do. So you'll put in like work plans, classes that you have to attend, like places that you have to actually be. Put those in first. 
then you're going to schedule time to study and you're going to put the due dates for all the assignments that are listed in your syllabus here in your day planner for the week. And you're going to list when you can do those. Now, I do have a video on how to use your day planner in the course introduction, so you're going to look at that. So there is an assignment that says you have to upload your books. And to do that, you're going to come across one big Canvas. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a glitch, but it's just kind of something annoying about Canvas. And that is that you have to upload multiple items to the same assignment at the same time. So like if you put this book into the assignment, so you're going to have to take a picture of yourself with the book or take a picture of the page in the middle of the book if you get a digital book. Um, and you're going to need, or you can take a picture of your receipt for the book, and then you're going to smile with the receipts or with the books um, to show that you purchased them, and you're going to upload that photo. But let's say you have two photos, like you took the photo of this, and you took a photo of your day planner separately. So if you put this into the assignment first, you have to put choose another, then put this one in, and then upload them at the same time. Otherwise, what happens if you put this one in first, and then you upload, and then you put this one in, and you upload, it bumps the first one out, and then only this one is there. Once you've turned in an assignment, you can actually check what you've turned in. On the right-hand side, there's a little drop-down list, and you can just click on your assignment, and it'll show you exactly what you turned in. So you can double-check, make sure that you have everything that you need. Got it? Okay, so the other thing that you need to know about Canvas is it times out after about 5 to 10 minutes. So if you get up in the middle of writing directly into a text box um, in an assignment, when you come back, it may look like everything's fine. And if you keep typing, you'll think, oh, it's fine. And then you press send or, or enter or submit, and it just tells you, sorry, you lost all your work. So I suggest that you use a um, like a word processing program like Google Docs, Pages, or Microsoft Word to complete your assignment and then copy and paste that assignment into the assignment box. You have um, a, like a set of assignments that are various so you need to make sure that you follow the directions we have some discussions and things like that the way you're graded is how well you follow directions one of the biggest directions in the class is that you need to write at least five sentences or at least three sentences per response in your assignments or discussions and so you need to make sure you pay attention to the instructions because it's all the work in here is really easy and it's subjective, meaning like it's your opinion. And so you have to do this work yourself. And the only way I can grade you, I can't grade you on like your opinion. So what I can grade you on is did you follow instructions? And so I try to set those instructions up in such a way that it will help you with life problems or life issues like filling out applications, like completing other classes, becoming a better writer. Because if you're writing five sentences every time you make a response in the class, you're going to be a better writer by the time you're done with the class. Another glitch that Canvas has that you need to know about is that you cannot link to documents. Some classes are set up to do that, mine is not. And so if you try to link a Google Doc via a link to Google Drive or Google Docs or even to Dropbox or any cloud link, it does not work. So please do not use links. Just copy and paste into the text box or upload as a document. You can actually convert pages documents and um, Google Docs into um, Word documents. And so I would suggest that you convert into Word documents and then upload if you're going to upload an assignment rather than trying to upload a pages document because Canvas does not like that. Uh, what else? So all of the work from the homework, so if you look at the syllabus, the work and the homework for the week one will be due at the beginning of week two on Monday at 11.59 p.m. So you have work starting right away in the class. Now you don't necessarily need the book for the first week because I have all the information that you need in the assignments. But as we continue into week two, you're gonna need that book. So make sure that you purchase a book that is going to come within the first week so you can get credit by taking pictures of that for your assignment. The other assignment that you have to complete this week is a meet and greet assignment in which you're going to be creating a, another type of yourself. So you'll be creating a U 2.0. This is a new version of you because personality is completely changeable. So you're looking at how can I change my personality to become the person that I want to be, that will have the qualities that I want to possess, and that will get me the furthest towards the goals that I have for myself. How do I become the person that achieves those goals? That's what you need to ask yourself. Um, I personally really love the idea of being able to become whatever we want to become. I've done a lot of research on this and it's very exciting. And so I'm gonna share that information with you um, and you're going to get a chance to see that. 
The other assignment or thing that you need to complete is you need to make sure that you have looked over the syllabus and that you've watched this course introduction video. So um, I'm just gonna pu pull up your syllabus real quick. Um, I know you can't see it because this is a, like a video, but I just wanna look for myself really quick to make sure I'm covering everything that I need to cover. Um, okay, we also have another discussion this week. So we got three homework assignments. Pur purchase your day planner and textbook, the meet and greet discussion, and then a discussion on the first reading that we have for the week, which is page 1 through 28 in the 7 Habits book, and it's on paradigms and principles. And so I suggest you read that if you have it. Otherwise, I do have two videos in the assignment um, discussion, uh, the paradigm of principles one. What you'll do in that assignment is you'll watch those first two videos about the content for uh, chapter one and the paradigms and principles section of um, the seven habits of highly effective teens book. And then you will watch my lecture and I will prompt you to watch the other videos as you go through the lecture. Then at the bottom, you'll copy and paste the questions into the text box and then answer them. Make sure you copy and paste the questions and follow the directions entirely or you will lose points because following directions is the only way that I grade in this class other than on the final and on those um, campus resource reports. I'll explain more about how we do the campus resource reports as we get closer to them. I will probably make a video like this explaining how to do it, give examples, that kind of thing. But in the meantime, just be prepared that you're going to have to do that at some point. It will require you to either go to that place and look over the resource or contact that place and talk to somebody from there. So you'll have a chance to get to know a resource here at JP a little bit more in detail and share that information with others. Okay, so I think I've covered all the main points that you need to that you need to know except for this one. I do not accept late work. So please take a look. I do have a frequently asked question ask questions page with this information on it, but I'm gonna go through it really quick. Um, so for this class, um, you just need the seven habits book. Um, all your information from your course is gonna be here in this course introduction video. So if you watch this from start to finish, you'll have all the information you need. Um, there is no late work. Uh, their homework is due at 11.59 on the following Monday after it appears in the syllabus. I do not take late work. Um, the only reason I would take late work, late work is if you had an excuse that spanned an entire week. It would have to be a medical excuse for you or your child or a court appearance like jury duty or maybe you were incarcerated um, falsely or whatever. So you need to be able to prove that that's where you were. And when you come back, you'll turn it in the following Monday uh, before 11.59 so you have an extra week to turn it in. And you'll turn in the excuse along with that. Everything has to be turned in prior to the following week, Monday at 11.59 p.m. Let's say that you have a glitch, right? So um, all assignments are turned on Canvas. Canvas can glitch sometimes and it happens. And so if you wait until the last minute to get your work done and you experience a glitch, that is your problem. I am not going to take your work late. And there's a reason for this. I'm just trying to teach you to be responsible, trying to teach you to get your work in on time in a perfect world, and this is what I would like for you. I'm setting a goal for you right now. I would like you to try to get your work in for this class before the weekend, so on Friday. So on Friday, I would like to see you turn in your work via Canvas. Um, I do not want you to wait till Monday at 11 p.m. to start turning in your homework, because if you run into a problem, you're not gonna be able to get help. I may not be available right before it's due because it's almost midnight i actually i haven't told you much about myself but i'm actually a psychologist and i've been teaching here at chafee for about 20 years this is going to be my 21st year um, going into this 2024 2025 school year would be my 21st year and um, i love teaching college but i'm actually um, moving into a different career this uh, summer i'm actually working as a well i'm teaching uh, fifth grade at a armenian school for the first part of our course then i'm going to go on my summer break and when I come back I'm actually going to be a special education teacher at um, the same Armenian school at a different campus and that's going to be my internship to do my to finish my special ed credential uh, to teach in the elementary school level so I'm teaching pretty young children so uh, during this class I will be available after 4 30 p.m on most days because I do have a day job 
Um, and then I, there's a possibility I may go on vacation during this course as well, but I'll let you guys know and I will still be on top of my work here even if I am out of town. Um, some of you guys, if you're going out of town or that sort of thing, make sure, make sure, make sure that you get internet service wherever you are. I do have this thing called California Connects that's listed in your course syllabus. That's about $20 a month that you can get internet that's roaming. I've used it before. It does not work in foreign countries. So if you're planning on traveling to Mexico or something like that, it doesn't work there. And so, um, and I have had students who have had to go to Mexico during uh, the summer term and a lot of internet stuff doesn't work in Mexico. So I'm just letting you know ahead of time to think about it before you go on vacation make sure that you have everything you need to stay current in the class because you cannot make up late work it's just not a thing vacation is not an excuse for missing class uh, you cannot really work ahead either so but if you contact me ahead of time let me know you're gonna be out of town I might be able to help you out by giving you early access to stuff if I have it available or we'll make a deal and we'll figure it out okay so that's how it's gonna work if you tell me after the fact it's a no it's late and you didn't let me know ahead of time so that's just that Okay, so even if you're sick, even if someone in your family passes away, um, I don't take late work. I hope you understand that. So what I do do is I do offer extra credit. So at the very end of the syllabus, there's a nice solid page of extra credit in which you'll see all the extra credit assignments that are assigned throughout this eight week term. At the end of the eight week term, all that extra credit will be applied towards your grade. I do actually also offer other extra credit assignments that are just miscellaneous extra credit, and I'm going to offer an assignment in just a moment, so hang tight. If you make it to the end of the video, you'll get an opportunity to earn some extra credit here. So some other things that I suggest that you do. Um, I suggest, um, well, this is really necessary, so this is why I told you to watch to the very end. So you need to make sure that on day one of the class, that you log in because we have a waiting list for this course. There's a few people who are waiting to enter the class. I think right now we've got two people on the waiting list, but that tends to kind of get long as that first day approaches. So when we get to the first day, which is June 3rd tomorrow, um, I'm making this video on June 2nd. You guys are going to be able to access it on June 2nd and again on June 3rd via the course. So um, I'm gonna send out an email today giving you access to this video so you can start watching it today. One thing that you should do to start preparing for the class, get your books. You need to log in that first day to reserve your spot. If you don't log in by Wednesday, I'm gonna drop you from the class because we don't have a lot of time to mess around. And if you're not engaged on day one and two, then I'm assuming you're not gonna be engaged on day three through whatever the rest of the term is. And we only have eight weeks, so we don't have time to play around. And I wanna get people into the class that are going to actually attend and complete work and finish the class. So if it appears that you're not on top of your business, I'm dropping you. You have till Friday to add the class back. If for some reason you do get dropped on Wednesday, you have till Friday to add, but you do need to contact me and I can only re-add you if there's space. Um, right now the class is full with a wait list, so make sure that you reserve your spot by showing up. I would say log in day one. If for some reason you can't log in, this is the way to reach me. So the fastest way to reach me is via text. My number, 909 224-1204. Okay, so that's my cell phone number. And if you need me, that's the fastest way to reach me is via text. You can also leave me a voice message. If you try to leave a voice message on my Chafee email, it's just gonna tell you please call my cell phone and leave a message there because I don't check my uh, Chafee voicemail ever, ever. So you need to leave a message on my actual cell to get me. I will return that call within 24 hours. If you email me, it takes me up to 48 hours to respond. So if it's something that you don't need right away and you just need something and you have a question or whatever, ask me via email. I'll get back to you within 48 hours. But otherwise, make sure you text me if you need me immediately. So if this is like an emergency situation or something you need right now, text me. Go put it, put my number in your phone right now. It's Dr. Borgi, B-O-R-G-H-I. Put that in your phone. Dr. Borgi, B-O-R-G-H-I. My phone number, 909 Two two four one two zero four. That way, if you need me and it is an emergency, you've got my number and you don't have to go look it up on the syllabus or Canvas or whatever. Okay, so now we're at the end of this course introduction video. I expect you to, if you do not want to continue taking the class, it's up to you to drop the class. I'm only going to be dropping people that first week. After the first week, if you're not dropped, so I think my drop deadline or my census drop deadline for people who don't enter the class is Friday. I will be doing census drops on Wednesday. Got it? So after Wednesday, I won't be dropping anybody unless they ask me to or there's a specific reason that I talk to them about. So you are responsible for dropping yourself. If you do not drop the class, you'll end up with what we call an FW, which counts as a fail to withdraw. It counts as an F towards your GPA. You'd have to retake this class. 
Um, this is a non-transferable class though, so it's not going to transfer on your transfer GPA, but it will affect your graduation GPA here at Chafee College, and it does count towards your Chafee GPA. I hope that makes sense. It's not a transferable class, meaning it's not going to count towards your transfer GPA if you're trying to transfer to a four-year school. If you have any questions about any of that, you could always message me because it is a little confusing. Okay, so I strongly recommend that you use sensory tools while you are studying. It tends to help most people, so this is just like a little stress a little stress chick for Easter. I'm kind of looking a little Easter-y today, right? So um, so yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm here squeezing this guy. These good for when you're reading, writing, doing kinds of stuff. I also recommend, you know, putting on some headphones, maybe noise canceling headphones, and turning on YouTube and pulling up like maybe the 369 frequency or pulling up black noise, white noise, purple noise. You let that resonate in your ears while you're studying. What it does is it'll distract your brain enough so you can focus a little better. So if you're struggling with focus, that's a good thing. If you're struggling with procrastination, which is another issue that plagues students, um, I'm actually working on a book right now about why students procrastinate and how to overcome procrastination. We're going to be talking about in great in that in great detail throughout this term. So look forward to that. I'll be throwing you information about how to overcome procrastination. But for now, please just know that everybody procrastinates and that the best way to overcome that is to actually use your day planner. Start writing stuff in your day planner right away and use it. This is like for you to learn to be better at time management and I'll go over why that's important but to be honest with you this is the game changer for the class if you get the day planner and start using it now you're gonna be more successful and have more of a chance to finish this course strong with an A than anyone else so we got to the end of the video no late work no late work everything has to be in on time but if you have watched to the end please go to YouTube on this video and leave me a comment right underneath it you can leave a comment about how wonderful my hair looks today you like my dress if you have a question about the class if you need anything if you just want to get your extra credit points just leave a comment make sure that your comment contains your first and last real name so that way uh, I can give you your points okay so that is it for this course introduction video you're responsible for making sure that you go to the syllabus read through what's there put it in your day planner do all the readings look through everything in canvas and do the assignments by and turn them in by 11.59 p.m. on the following Monday. So all the work for this week is due, I think it's the 10th, let me pull up my calendar here, yes. So June 10th is next Monday, so all the assignments I mentioned, the Paradigms and Principles discussion, the Meet and Greet discussion about U2.0, and turning in your books. Those three, plus the reading, page one through 28 in Seven Habits book, plus reading or going through all the Canvas stuff for week one and the course introduction, those are all this week's work. There is a lot of work per week. It's not difficult work, but it's a lot. And to be honest with you, I've actually cut quite a bit of information out of this class. So we used to actually use a completely additional textbook. Now we're just down to this one. So there's actually a lot less work than, um, than I've done in the past. So be, be, be thankful, be fortunate. Go leave a comment on this video on YouTube so you can get your extra credit points. I don't know how many I just said I would give you, but I think I'm gonna up it to 20 because I was maybe gonna do 15, but I think I'm gonna do 20 extra credit points for everybody who leaves a comment on this video just to see how many people are actually watching this to the end. For those who have not watched this to the end, this is very important information, so they're gonna miss out on that and they probably won't do too well in the course. Um, when people start to struggle with things and they're asking me questions, I'll just be referring you back to this video. So. Hopefully everybody watched it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I look forward to supporting you and helping you through your time here at Chafee College and Guidance too. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.